In this video, I'm going to go over a BIOS modification for the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 470 4GB with Alpida VRAM. This BIOS mod showed up on the Ethereum community forum over the last week. Sony87 was the one that originally modified the BIOS with Hex Editor. The download did disappear from the forum, so I will add it to the description of this video. Now, you should test this out yourself and confirm that it is stable and working. Before you start, you should make sure that your VBIOS switch is to the side of the HDMI and DisplayPort outputs. You want the VBIOS switch on the silent side when you flash your card. Make sure you back up your silent BIOS before you flash your card. Also, before you start, make sure that you have the latest AMD drivers installed. You want at least 16.9.1, 16.9.2, and the newest one, 16.10.1, work great. So go there and download 16.10.1 if you don't have it and install that. ATI Win, you're also going to want to make sure that you have ATI Win Flash or ATI Flash 2.74. So go to Tech Power Up and download ATI Flash 2.74. Here I have the modified ROM in the top Polaris BIOS editor and the original ROM in the bottom Polaris BIOS editor. And if we take a close look, we can see that basically the only thing that was modified were the timings. And the numbers are different. But what he did was copy the 1500 timing strap up. And we can see that by the 6074 timing and values. Now you can check into this, look at it yourself with Polaris BIOS Editor, compare it with your own, make sure that your vendor ID, device ID, sub ID, sub vendor ID match the modified BIOS. You don't want to flash your card if those numbers do not match. Now before we flash our BIOS we're going to want to open up ATI Win Flash by right clicking on the ATI Win Flash executable and running as administrator. Once it's open we want to click on save and save our original silent BIOS. Once that's saved, we'll close ATI Win Flash. Now flashing your card is very simple. You're going to want to open the ATI Win Flash folder and make sure that you have the modified ROM in that folder. Then you're going to want to flash it through the command prompt. So open command prompt as administrator and then copy your folder directory path for ATI flash and paste it into the command prompt after typing cd space. So you want to change the directory to your ATI flash directory. Once that's done type in ATI win flash dash f dash p zero with spaces and then paste in the name of the modified ROM. So go and copy the name of the modified ROM and paste that into the command prompt as so. Then you just hit enter. It'll flash your card. Once it's done, you can restart your computer. And when you get back into Windows, you should see that you're hashing away at about 27 mega hashes per second. This is buried one Ethereum's uh, photo here, his screenshot of his flash. Um, and here's another one of someone from the forum stating, claiming that they've gotten 30 mega hashes per second. So possibly if you have the right clock values and the right voltages, you can get a uh, very high mega hash. But again, you're going to have to confirm that and do your own research and try it out for yourself. So I hope you like this video and I hope it helped and thanks for watching.